Welcome to another episode here at my channel, Hamid Papatia, a lighting artist. In my channel, I obviously cover other stuff besides lighting occasionally, but I did make a Unity HDRP tutorial yesterday, um, but I have not forgotten the Unreal users. So I'm not going to go through a full tutorial. So what I'm doing, I use the sci-fi uh, scene that I downloaded for this example. What I want to show you is how you can create your own um, cube maps for your environment. There are several advantages of being able to do that. So we'll start by showing you. So you have an environment, right? And let's say for some reason you have a skylight. In this case, you need a skylight for this cube map. And uh, you need to have a reflection. And normally you would add a skylight and maybe you want to fill in darkness. Maybe you want to make something brighter. And you're, you're doing this and you see you get these uh, different things happening. You might be playing around or you're like, uh, you might not be happy. Maybe you go around and you see some uh, issues that's happening and you can maybe see details in some scenes you'll see the cube map obviously and you might be reacting to it and say okay that's not what i want other times they might be too bright you get the point there are many scenarios specifically for you that can occur on especially environments with windows and uh, you know some openings so what we're going to do we're going to right click and we are going to go down to materials and textures so we're going to cube render target not canvas render target, not render target, cube render target. We're going to name it cube render target, just for example. Okay, we're going to drag this into the skylight. And when you do that, you'll notice it doesn't register. Okay, that's because you don't want to use it to begin with. Even if you were able to do it, you don't want to do it in case it updates during your sessions. And then you'll end up with a wrong cube map, right? But also we are missing one thing. We're missing something called scene capture cube, right? So you have to go to the play sector and you have to click in scene and you'll find scene capture cube. And you can place it wherever you want to kind of get the best possible um, cube map out of it. So I'll place it there for now. And in this one, you will write put in cube under target. And you can see it's already starting to do something. If you wait, it's now updated. We click save. We do right click on it and we create a static texture. This saves it, right? This saves it from being uh, updated and um, some unexpected issues might arise, as I said. So now you can use this cube render target and you can see you actually get correct looking um, skylight type of cube effect going on to brighten up so now you can for example you can brighten it up more and it won't be like too over lit so if i do 10 you know it's, it's okay but if you did 10 on for example this one it has this blue look it's starting to look weird it doesn't work okay so that's why uh, one example of why you want a cube render target to have that extra touch up for your environment and detail that is actually matching now to emphasize the example we could go and we can turn off the targets right we can uh, actually just for the fun of it let's just delete all of it and let's go to post process we just delete all of that and just quickly go down in lighting quality do a quick build shouldn't change too much because there's a lot of emissive going on and because we have placed it there you can move it you can tweak it you can you can pretty much do what you need to to get it to look uh, the way you want it to look let's go to sky which is uh, where we put it so now if i Turn it on and off. You can clearly see that it's still matching, right? It's still matching with the environment. It's still matching with everything else that's going on. You can increase the cube resolution to get some more detail, and you can do a lot. You can do middle. Or you can do less, but still, it's doing what you want it to do in the correct sense. Let's try this. Suddenly, it gets too dark. It's using all the detail. 
let's try this so you can see you have the necessary detail of course in some cases you will see the reflections and the cube map in other reflection again and it will have the the, the look you might want to go for so hopefully that was a very quick tutorial but hopefully it's useful so it's a good way of uh, solving your uh, skylight issue if you don't have a skylight this also works for um any case you can have an outside scene and you maybe you're doing some lighting but you want to tweak the fit you want to fill in the darkness a little bit this is a good way of doing it so hopefully that's useful thank you for watching please leave a like subscribe comment so i know you're liking the content and uh, we'll see what else i end up making for you guys bye also you can join lighting mentorship over at lightingbot.com